What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So as you probably know by now, the Blizzard launcher has had a huge UI overhaul. However, one strange thing about it is that there's still no easy way to move a game from one drive to another. Don't worry, that's exactly what I'll be tackling in this video and showing you exactly how to do it. My previous video had tons of attention, so here's another one for the brand new launcher update. So step number one, find the game in your Battle.net or Blizzard launcher, whatever you'd like to call it. For this video, I'll be using a small game like Hearthstone, but it works for literally any game. Then all you have to do, by the play button in the bottom left of the game you selected, click the options button right next to it. Then inside of here, click show in Explorer to open up a new file browser that will have the folder of the game you selected highlighted. You can open it up and you'll see all of the game files over here. So currently I have it on my E drive, which is a hard disk. I'll be moving it to my H drive. In order to do this, simply right-click the folder and then click Cut. You can also use Control X. Then head across to a different disk that you'd like to place it on, or of course a different computer or anything like that, and I'll be pasting it into this Games folder over here. I'll right-click, Paste, or Control V. Now the game files are being moved across, and of course depending on the size of the game, this could be short or very long. Anyways, now I have Hearthstone on my SSD. But if I have a look inside of the Blizzard launcher, the play button's still there. If I click it, nothing will happen, or at least I don't want to click it just in case. All you have to do is click the options wheel next to it once again, and then click game settings. Inside of here, simply locate your game and then expand its info. So in my case, Hearthstone. Then look back at the folder that we just pasted it in, Open up the games folder as such, so we can see all the game files once again. Then at the very top, click the folder URL, then right click copy. Then we'll head back to the Blizzard launcher and over here by install location, simply click use a different folder. After doing this, a new browser will appear. Simply click at the top where we copied it and paste it in as such. Then hit enter and it'll be taken into the games folder over here. Note that you won't see any files, you'll only see folders in the game's directory. So if it appears empty, don't worry. Click select folder in the bottom right and then click done. After doing this, your game should be moved to your SSD or whatever other hard disk you placed it on, as you can see here. All you have to do is click play and the game will launch up exactly as you expect and exactly as you left it. If you moved it to an SSD, enjoy the new speed boost that you'll get by putting it there in terms of load times and sometimes FPS. If for some reason you're worried about the game not copying across properly, simply close out of it, look back inside of the Blizzard launcher, click the settings wheel, and of course once the game closes, click the scan and repair button. This will run through all of the files on your computer and verify that they match the ones in the server. If something copied across incorrectly, it will be re-downloaded and replaced or fixed. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!